When you're building a business that's mostly your message, your personality, your brand, should you brand your own name or should you come up with a cool company name and brand that? So most of the time, I recommend that people just brand their own name because your name is the longest lasting brand you'll ever have in your life unless you change your last name, right? And so I've seen more people go from using company names to eventually over the years they say, ah, oh, it's so much easier just to use my own name. So then they start branding their own name. When I say brand, I mean, you know, that's where most people go to your website is your name or your company's name. Uh, of course, what's on the, you know, the top of your newsletter and all, you know, your social media um, following where, you know, are they looking for your company name, looking for your name. So I've seen more businesses that are mostly uh, about personal brand go from a company name to a personal name. And so that's what I recommend just kind of going with you. If you're not, if you're not really sure, just go with your name. It's, it's long lasting. I mean, that's how I do it. I don't have a company name. My, my name, my company name, business name, legally just me. Now you, the other thing though, is you might want to have different programs in your business, like maybe a coaching program, uh, a membership site, um, a pro an information product, um, a telesummit, whatever it is. You might have different programs that you could brand with its own name. Uh, and so even though your overall umbrella brand is your own name, your different programs or services could have its own cool name that represents the key benefit of that program or service. And so um, anyway, I hope this is helpful. I'll ha add some more information and examples in the notes of this video. And um, any questions, let me know.